cesarean section is an abdominal surgery that can be used to deliver a baby via the abdomen. Sometimes it may be necessary to perform this procedure due to complications during a pregnancy or labor, but mothers may also choose to have a planned cesarean section known as an elective surgery. It is important to consider the implications having a cesarean section can have on future pregnancies before choosing to have this operation. When the patient arrives in the theater, the surgeon will feel the patient's abdomen to help determine the position of the baby. They will also listen to the fetal heartbeat. Usually, the patient will be awake and a regional anesthesia will be used. This form of anesthesia will numb the patient from the waist down, however, they will still be able to feel some tugging and pulling during the operation. A urinary catheter will be placed to help drain urine from your bladder during the surgery and will remain in place until after the surgery. During pregnancy and especially during a cesarean section, a mother is at an increased risk of deep vein thrombosis. Therefore, it is likely that compression boots will be used and remain in place throughout the surgery. The surgical team will then clean and place surgical drapes on the patient's abdomen and a screen will be placed at the level of the chest to separate the patient from the open surgery. Before cutting the first incision, the surgeon will check that the anesthesia is working and the patient is sufficiently numb by confirming no pain is felt. An abdominal incision is made into the abdomen. Usually, this incision is made along the bikini line to help hide the scar. However, sometimes a midline or slightly higher incision may be required. The layers of the abdominal wall are opened and extended to allow room for delivery of the baby. The patient may be aware of a tugging sensation, but it should not be painful. A retractor is placed in the inferior aspect of the incision to hold the bladder out of the way and to protect it. The surgeon will then cut an incision into the lower segment of the uterus. The amniotic sac is then opened and the surgeon will now be able to deliver the baby. If the baby is born in good condition and the surgical team have no concerns, delayed cord clamping can be implemented to maximize the oxygenated blood that reaches the baby. The baby can then be checked by the midwife or pediatrician. Skin-to-skin -skin contact can be supported in the operating theater if the mother chooses. The placenta will then be delivered and checked. It may take longer to recover after a cesarean section than a vaginal birth. If both mother and baby are doing well, they can normally go home the following day and continue to receive care and support from their midwife and GP.